Hello everyone, this is Michelle with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Actually it's Michelle and Leo, but Leo is kind of camera shy, so he's kind of looking the other way. Leo, look at the camera, right this way. There you go. I just wanted to introduce you to Leo. He is our new addition to the family. and He's a sweet little puppy who kind of likes to bite, but we are getting... Um, we are getting some training done, so I just wanted to have you meet Leo. But anyway, he's going to be one of our sus, um, suspects, our subjects today. So hopefully you will enjoy this session, Tuesdays with Michelle. And here we go. As I put Mr. Leo down, go play little puppy. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is we are going to be doing this. Um, we're going to be in version 12. Now, some of you have been asking, should I buy version 12? And that's kind of up to you. Um, there are some really cool features, and if you are a member, you can go ahead and uh, check in the membership area and find out what the new features are. But basically, there are five or six things in there that are maybe worth your spending $70 or $80. I did hear that it is on sale at or not it is selling at Costco it may not be on sale but it is selling at Costco and I thought that there was only going to be digital versions available but it sounds like they are selling hard copies so that's kind of a plus those of you who are using Photoshop you know that that's going to be going to the cloud or it is in the cloud and you might want to investigate that as well I think you have to pay on a monthly basis but with Photoshop elements you just pay one um, price and then you have it forever so I think that's kind of cool let's go ahead and get started on one of the features I'm just going to do one feature that version 12 has and then you can go inside the membership area and check out all the other uh, features I also wanted to let you know that Karen from snickerdoodles designs by Karen has an awesome Halloween kit and she is going to be giving our viewers an additional 10% off of that kit. It's already 50% right now on her site but she's giving us an additional 10% so you can get the entire kit for like right around $10 which is an absolute steal and I'll tell you how to get that in a few minutes as well. This is one of the layouts uh, that she has um, inside that kit. So let's go ahead and open up this file and this photo is, I'm just going to go ahead and open up, of course, one of Leo. You might be seeing him quite a bit in the future. Okay, and if you wanted to find out what the effect, how to get this effect, um, again, that's inside the membership area, and it takes a couple steps. It's the perfect effects one. And let me know if you wanted to find out how to get that um, effect there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you see that we have the same, we have the quick, we have the guided, and we have the expert mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the guided mode. And you'll notice there's a several different new features in there in version 12. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And the one that we're going to be doing is called puzzle effect in the bottom right hand corner right underneath photo play. So I'm going to click on photo uh, puzzle effect. And you can do small pieces, large pieces, medium pieces, and so on. So let's just go ahead and click on small and see what that gives us. It might be too small for me. That's not too bad, but let's go ahead with medium. And it is kind of going to depend a little bit about your resolution and how big your file is. I kind of like the medium one, but let's just click on large just to see the difference. That's kind of nice too, but let's go back to, let's go back to the medium one. And once you have and you decide what size of the uh, puzzle effect you want, then you go to the next step which says select puzzle piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and start taking some chunks out of the uh, layout. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on extract. And I'm going to move that to a different location, maybe in the bottom right hand corner so we can see it. And I can rotate it if I want to. It has a slight drop shadow already. So I rotated it. Then I can go in, select puzzle piece again, so I'm just going to go ahead and get another one. Click on extract piece, and then I'm going to move that to another location, just kind of so it's off to the side. And I can do that to as many pieces as I want to. So maybe I'll take one more piece right there, extract that, and then bring that back over here, maybe on the bottom, or I could put it on the top there. Let's just do one more because I do want to show you something else. Let's just extract that one and then move it on over. Now, if you want to, you can erase pieces as well. So I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. 
If you wanted to erase, let's just say like this piece right here, you can go to Eraser Tool, and then you can click on the um, right bracket or left bracket to make it larger or smaller. See how I'm making it larger now? And then the left bracket shrinks it down. And if I wanted to uh, delete or erase this, I can do that. I kind of like it there, but it does give you that option. You can erase that if you wanted to. But I kind of like it there, so I would probably just go ahead and cancel that. Or I would just go ahead and undo that a couple times. Oops, Command Z. I guess I can't go back now. Oh, darn. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and redo it really quickly. I guess if you press that, it goes all the way back. So that's a good thing to learn there. I just didn't know that. If I wanted to do more than one, so I can hold down my Shift key, see how I'm selecting more than one at a time? Before that, I selected uh, just one. And now I can move these pieces individually, or not individually, all at one time. Okay. So then I can go back into the Expert mode if I want to, or I can click on Done. So if I click on Done, it'll go ahead and flatten that for me inside this area. Hold on one second. My little puppy just took off with one of my books. Okay. Then we can go ahead into the Expert mode if we wanted to, and I can move those layers individually. See, if I'm in the um, Expert mode, I can go in at this point. And when I am finished, I can go ahead and merge those all together, flatten the image, click on OK, and then I have my piece. Go ahead and save it as a, another, oh, probably another name if you wanted to, puzzle piece or whatever, and then you can save it off. It's just kind of a fun little effect, okay? Maybe it might be something that you're not interested or interested in, but that is one addition to version 11. Let me go ahead and show you really quickly this cool kit that I love. I, I got it myself. Okay, and if you click on store, I usually just click on store and then I will go ahead and punch in like maybe in the search box, I'll just do Halloween. because I think that's how I found it. And you'll notice that they have Lil Tots. It's L-I-L Tots. And then we have the whole entire kits is this one here. Let me just go ahead and highlight over the top of it. You get all of these pieces. It's unbelievable. So right now it's on sale for 58% off at $13.50, $13.50. However, if you're watching this for the next couple days, it is going to be on sale to NAOD's viewers. And I will go ahead and put coupon code for that would be NAODS hyphen extra 10 hyphen little tots. So let me go ahead and type that out for you because it is case sensitive and you have to make sure that you do it exactly as it needs to be otherwise it won't let you. So let me go ahead and bring up a brand new sheet of paper and I will type that in really large here so that you can write it down and it will get you an extra 10% off that 58%. So that is a smoking deal and then after this, I'm going to kind of show you some of the pieces. So NAODS, all caps, hyphen, extra 10 with a capital E, and then hyphen L, capital, I-L, T, capital, O-T-S. So you can use that in the next few days, and then you will get an extra 10% off at Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen. So let me just show you some of those really cool pieces. Okay, let's go file, open. I won't have um, little Leo behind me anymore when I'm videotaping, so <laughs> just uh, know that. All right, so let me just get one photo. Of course, we'll go ahead and get one of Leo, little turkey. And then I'm just going to go into one of her p kit, kit pieces. So here, her kit is called SDKK Little Tots. And I just put Halloween out there. And here's a quick page that I thought was really cool. This one's cool too. Let me open up a couple of them. And all you do is you open up the quick page. This is part of the entire kit. And you put in one of your photos. I'm just going to go ahead and put Leo in the background here. Pull that, drag it, drop it. Just drag it underneath that layer. It's as easy as that. And of course you would have your kid or your grandchild in there 
um, Halloween outfit or whatever sitting next to pumpkins. And here is one of those quick pages uh, from that kit, which is adorable. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And it's already made for you. Another thing, too, look at all these different elements. Let me go into the elements page here and show you. Aren't those adorable? Look at that. I'm going to make it large so you can see them. So here are just some of the elements that you get with this kit. So you can use them for whatever purpose that you want. So if you liked, let's just say, one of these flowers and you wanted to put the flower inside of your layout, you can just take that, drag it, drop it into your page. Looks like it went behind it, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it above. And there you've got that flower there. So just wanted to kind of show you all the different pieces from this little tots um, kit that Karen created and another um, designer along with her. Um, great, great price for NAOD's viewers, so take a look at that. Hope to see you next Tuesday. We may not be doing these every single Tuesday. I may skip one Tuesday a month because it is kind of a lot of work on my part, which is fine, but um, sometimes I don't get around to making these uh, videos. But hopefully you are enjoying them. Please give me your feedback. Check us out. Uh, go to our um homepage and give us some feedback. Thank you very much for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.